in today's video tutorial we are going to be looking at how to convert the BIOS from legacy or from BIOS to UEFI mode without losing any data and without reinstalling Windows again. The first thing you have to do to confirm if your BIOS is set to legacy or if you're in BIOS mode, click on the Windows search button and type the word system information look for system information and then click open then scroll down and you see that you are using legacy as the bios mode so it means that your computer is in legacy mode so we are going to convert it from legacy mode to uefi mode and before you convert your computer from legacy mode to UEFI mode, you need to meet the following requirements or you need to make sure that the following requirements are met by your computer. The first requirement is that your Windows operating system should be version 1703 and above or later. In order to check your current version for operating system, you have to Press the Windows button plus R and type WinVa and then you click OK. So when you click OK, they're going to show you that you have Windows 10 and the version number is 1903. That is my version that I'm using. So your version has to be more than 1703 and above. If your version is less than 1703, please do not continue with our tutorial guide. Or you can first upgrade your version to the required version. Requirement number two is that the drive where Windows is installed should not be divided into more than three partitions. The drive where your Windows is installed okay, should not be divided into more than three partitions. In order to check your partitions or the number of partitions that you have, you should do the following. Click on the Windows search button and type create and format disks. So look for create and format disk. Then I'm going to click open. Then uh, you are going to come to that disk management. So in the disk management, we are looking for that drive that has Windows installed on. So this is the disk that has Windows installed. So make sure that it does not have more than three partitions. Now, if I have my partitions here, I can see we have one, two, three, and four. So I have to make sure that I have only three partitions. So what you can do, uh, you can go to this PC, then uh, look for the partitions you have. Because now you see I have one, two, three partitions here. But if I go back to the disk management, I have four partitions. Because there's another partition for system reserved, okay? So that makes it number four. So we have to make sure that we have only three partitions. So I'll go back uh, to uh, this PC. Then I'm going to click on this partition, which has maybe computer work. Then I'm going to come, uh, I'll back up my work. Right click, then I'm going to cut that. Maybe I'll paste it in another partition. So when I cut, it means that now I'm going to delete this partition. So make sure that you first back up your work for the whole of this process. So I'm going to back my work and onto this partition. So then I'll go back to disk management. Then I'm going to go and delete this computer work. Then I'm, if you want to delete, I'll just right click on this. Then I'm going to say delete volume. And then I'll say yes. Now that volume has been deleted. That is why you see. Then after I will say delete partition yes so the partition now has been deleted so now i have only three partitions one two and three i uh, don't mind about the unallocated space after maybe converting to uefi you can come back and then you recreate that new volume okay uh, then the third requirement we are going to need to disable any bit locker in case your any of your drives is using bit locker or stand on uh, if you check my drives here you can see that i don't have any drive that has bit 
locker enabled okay none of my drives has bit locker so i'm good to continue so those are the requirements we need then the last thing you have to do is make sure please back up the most important data that you need just in case of anything at least you have your data please make sure you back up your data then we can start now if you are finished backing up your data the thing you're going to do is uh go back to the disk management now and check the disk you have we say i have disk zero then if you have more than one disk you should have something like disk zero disk one disk two like that but then i uh, the number i have for my disk where the c is installed is disk zero please note that number down because we are going to need to use that number so mine is disk zero so when you finish noting that disk that you have which is disk zero i'm going to close that then i'm going to click the windows button then press the shift key on your computer or click the power button then press the shift key then click on restart make sure that you hold the shift key and click on restart so that we can boot into the windows recovery mode so when you do that the computer is going to boot into the recovery mode then i'm going to go and click on trouble shoot when you click on trouble shoot click on advanced options then uh, continue and look for command prompt okay then the, i'll continue with this one they're asking for account uh, authority then i'll click yes then the password i don't have a password i'll click continue then okay then there we have the disk tool that we need that is the windows recovery mod so uh, what you're going to do now is uh, type the following command the first command we're going to type is going to be mbr to gpt space slash validate then space slash disk one now the disk here is where we're going to put the disk number that we have the disk number we talked about so the disk number was zero so check and put the disk corresponding to the disk number that you have say, installed on so my disk number was zero so i'll put that zero then space again slash then i'm going to type allow full os that is going to make sure at least if we have any errors it is going to make us bypass those errors so when you finish you hit enter so now they're saying attempting to buy the disk zero now they're saying that validation completed successfully now when you are done with that type the following command m b r to gpt space slash convert space slash disk then you type the number of this which is zero space slash then allow full os and hit enter okay now they are saying attempting to convert disk zero retrieving the layout so trying to shrink the system partition okay so i think you can wait depending on the size of your disk and see now if you have finished they're going to say complete conversion completed successfully now they're saying uh call we need to, rep to repair the windows environment okay then they're saying they look at the last one they're saying before the new system can boot properly you need to switch the firmware to boot to uafi mode now the next step we're going to do is to make sure that we go to our bios and we change the settings from the bios then to uefi mode so what you're going to do is close this one here when you finish that turn off your pc so that you can have an, a chance to turn on turn off your pc and when you finish turning on your pc off your pc go and turn on your computer again in order to access the bios then press the bios hotkey i have attached the bios hotkeys for different computer models 
please check them out and see what key you're supposed to use to your computer to boot into the BIOS mode. Different computers have different BIOS appearances. So under my BIOS appearance, you can see, I'm going to go and click on the boot sequence. Others may click on other options. But under my boot sequence, you can set I have two choices, the UEFI and the legacy mode. So I'm going to switch to UEFI by clicking on it. Then after I'm going to save my changes. Then after saving my changes, I'm going to go and restart my computer. Okay, now uh, our computer has rebooted back. As you can see, you can set we still have all our files intact, the same files that we had. Uh, if I go to check and see our type system information, then I'm going to click open. Okay, then I'll scroll down. You can see that the BIOS mode is in UEFI. So that is it. BIOS mode has been changed to UFI mode. That means that we have finished converting our legacy to BIOS mode without losing any data. If I go back to this, you can see the partitions we had. These partitions check up backup. That is the backup we created. Uh, you can also go and make a uh, disk management and check and see. You can go back now and create that other disk that you had may be deleted so I can create new simple volume next next and I'm going to recreate that other volume also thank thank you for watching our video tutorial in case you have any question please leave the question in the comment section below I'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you bye bye